Hi everyone, Pastor Steve here. We're continuing on with a summary of uh, the book of Genesis. We're going to ha actually have a look at Genesis chapter 3 today because it's a very important part of the story of humanity, uh, our history, and why we see the world in such a mess it is today. And it's commonly known as the fall of man. It's in this chapter that we find out that... Uh, mankind disobeys God and death and the destruction that we all, we all see around us today begins to come into the human experience. Before Adam and Eve sinned and disobeyed God, there was no death or sin. There was no uh, disease and things like that. And everything was in harmony with God, but that was about to change. And you notice in, in if you look at the first seven verses of Genesis chapter three, you, you find that they, they are tempted by Satan or the devil and they are questioned, well, has God really said? Has God really said if you eat of this tree that you will die? In fact, it's Eve who's the one that's being challenged here. And uh, she says that we're not allowed to eat or touch it. And she adds a bit to the word of God and uh, that's the where where. The tempter knew that she didn't fully understand what God had said there, and he began to twist things around. So we should never add to the Word of God. That's the that's the um, the lesson from that. But anyways, uh, they are tempted, or she is tempted to. In verse five, it says that you will be like God, and that's the real temptation there. And you know, people think it's a fruit. It's not. It's not a fruit. It's not an apple. This is the temptation that they were tempted to think that they could be just like God. And that's exactly what happens to people today. People that don't believe in God or even some that do, we like to make up our own rules and we like to live out our own will without reference to God. And, and it's the same sort of temptation that we have today. The new age movement is one of those movements uh, where they believe that they can become a God or they are a God. And that's where that's what the, what the first sin was, mankind thinking that they could take the place of God and be as God. So the result of that was that sin and death entered into the world and uh, all that God had made was affected by, by the, their actions, by the sin there, and they tried to blame each other and they tried to blame, uh, you know, the, the, the serpent, um, but judgment came on them because of their sin the consequences of sin for uh, for us is that, you know, if we do break God's rules, that there, there are consequences. There was for Adam and Eve. There was in the time of Noah. Um, there was in the time of Moses and right through to our day here. So how did this impact the world? Um, it's affected every area of life. Relationships, They they were their relationship with each other was not as good as it was before. Um, uh, everything was corrupted spiritually. People began to, after this event, uh, move away from God and and uh, worship false gods, make up their own gods. Um, mentally, emotionally, the they were the life became more difficult. Physically, even though they didn't die directly, they were now getting older, and eventually they would die. Uh, it was like a virus that infected every person since then. And that's why we see sickness and death and wars and evil in our world today. It goes right back to this uh, instant in the book of Genesis chapter three. Uh, God is holy and we decided that we wanted to live in a way that was unholy. And people are still doing that to the day. So the Bible is still relevant. Um, God created us. There's a problem in the world. And God has a remedy for it. And in Genesis 3.15, he began to reveal that remedy when he said that uh, to the woman, he said that I will put enmity between you and the woman. He's talking to Satan here or to the serpent. And between your seed and her seed, he shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. Though it's a bit abstract, this is actually a reference to Jesus coming in to fix the problem that Adam and Eve had just created. In the fullness of time, Jesus would come and he would die on the cross and he would begin to restore mankind and bring us back into right relationship with God right there. Anyways, that's basically what Genesis 
three is about. It's about the fall of man and how sin and death and evil came into the the experience of humanity. And uh, that's why we have all these problems we still have in the world today because people are still breaking God's commandments. They're still doing things their own way. They're still acting as if they are God and uh, they're not giving God his due honour and obeying him and following him. Um, anyways, Jesus would in time come to bring us back to himself, but that's for another day. God bless. Have a great day, everyone.